Welcome back to this channel. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the introduction to sequence and series. In mathematics, a sequence is an ordered list of numbers or objects in which each term is related to the previous one by a certain rule or a certain pattern. For example, is when I have maybe one, three, five, seven, nine. When I have um, a list like this, we can obviously see that to get this is the first term of the of the list. This is the second, the third, and so on. So for us to get the second the second term, which is the three, we added two to the what to the previous term, which is one, to get three. So here to get this, we added two to what one, which is the what the previous term. To get what three the next term is what five to get five you add two again to what the previous term which is what the three to get what the five so it follows a certain pattern to get the seven two we will just add what two to what the five to get the seven and so on so this is an example of what a sequence it is an ordered list of numbers or objects in which each term is related to the previous one by a certain rule or pattern. So this is the pattern that we are, we are, we are using to obtain this um, sequence that we have. Now, each individual member or individual object or individual number in this sequence, that's the one, three, five, seven, nine. We call them terms. So they are terms of the what? Of the sequence all right sometimes too you could see a sequence written in this form let's say we have u sub mm, n as this and maybe the number, number the numbers could start from maybe one to let's say five right. so there's an example of a sequence so when we expand this what it actually means is that we are going to have u1 u2 u3 u4 up to u5 all right so this is an example of what a sequence sometimes the sequences will not be written in this form for you but rather they will be denoted in this form they will open and close a curly bracket and they will give you a certain let's say a rule and then you then you give it the endpoints or the limitations then you use that to write the list of your what of your sequence all right now with that being said let's link the idea of sequence to series so if this is sequence what is series a series on the other hand is a sum of the terms of a sequence so here we, we, we were just listing the numbers let me rewrite as well so in the sequence, we were just listing the numbers, right? So we had one, three, five, seven, nine. So this is a sequence. This is a sequence. A series, on the other hand, is formed by just adding up the terms in the sequence. So here I have one, three, five, seven, nine listed. If I want to convert this sequence into a series form, what I'm going to do is to just add the words, the terms in the words in the sequence. So I'm going to have one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. So that's basically the difference between a series and a sequence. For the series, for the sequence, the 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 terms are just listed, right? The terms are just listed. But for the series, we add the terms in the what in the sequence. Yes. So, and in this in the series two, if you remember in the sequence, I said you could be given a sequence in this form in the series in, in this form in series two. This is how we represent them. We bring the summation sign then u n or let's say u sub n, starting from maybe one to five. Here is one to five. If I want to list the terms here, it's just going to be u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u4 
plus u5. So that's basically it. While series uh, sequence is just listing the terms, series on the other hand is what adding the terms in the what in the sequence. All right, now let's move on to the the next aspect. That is the types of series. I will be just introducing them in the next videos. We will be taking them one after the other and tackle them more into details. All right, now we have types of series. We have two main types of series that we are going to talk about in this video. But in the subsequent videos, we are going to know that or we are going to see that some of the series are neither of what we are going to talk about here. So to tackle them, we have other ways of you know, tackling them. All right, so here we are going to talk about the two main types of series here. That's the arithmetic series, or sometimes called the arithmetic progression, and the geometric series, which is sometimes also called the geometric progression. Now let's start with the arithmetic series. Well, let me just say AP, arithmetic progression. Now, in the arithmetic series, the next term is obtained by adding a certain fixed number to the previous term. That number is what we call the common ratio. The common ratio is just the difference between the successive term and the previous term. Now, to get a clear picture of what I just said, let's consider the following series. Let's say we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus mm. all right okay so let's consider these two these two series over here now the first one we have one three five one plus three plus five plus three dots up to ninety nine that means here we know the words we know the last member of the words of the series so in this type of series you call them what finite series series in which we know the last member is called a finite series I should have mentioned it earlier but just came across my mind so I, I'm mentioning it over here a series which end after a finite number of, of terms is called a finite series and a series which we consider not to end is called an infinite series so let's see an example of infinite series so let's say this one mm, let's say one plus two plus three plus so here these two the first two the i and the i i they are all finite series because we know their last term. But the III is an infinite series because we do not know its what its last member or its last term. Right. So I said earlier that in arithmetic series, the next term is obtained by adding a certain fixed number to the previous term. And that number is what we call the common difference, usually denoted as small d. Now let's consider the I. You see. The first term we are considering this part. Okay. So the first term of this se uh, series is what? 1. And the next term is 3. The following term is 5. Now we can see that to get the second term, let me let me write it over here. We have we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 99 over here all right so this let me denote this by a1 this is the second term this is the third term let's say this is the last term so let's focus on the first on the first three terms so the a1 is what one the a2 is three and the a3 is what five now, to get A2, if we look closely by inspection, we could see that to get A2, that's the number 3 or the term 3 there, we are going to add 1. Sorry, I'm going to add 2 to A1. 
right? Because the A1 is 1. If we add 2 to 1, we are going to have what? 3 to get the A2. And to get the A3, which is 5, we are supposed to add 2 to what? 2 to what? The A2, which is the previous term, right? So the idea is that we have something called the common difference, which is the, just the difference between the successive terms and the previous term. So here, if I want to get my common difference, you are saying that it's the difference between what the successive term and the previous term. So here, this is the successive term and this is the previous term. So if I want to get the common difference, which is small d, is just what? 3 minus 1. And this is what's going to give me 2. The same way, if I want to get the common difference by using another ter other terms, I can use the 5 and the 3. So here, this would be the, what, the successive and this would be the previous. So 5 minus what? Um, 3, which is also going to give me what? 2. So that's what we mean by what the common difference. So the common difference is just the number or the fixed number that we add to the previous term in order to obtain the what? The next term. What you have to put at the back of your mind is that in arithmetic series, we have what we call the what the common difference, which is just the difference between the successive term and the previous term. All right. So basically, that's what arithmetic series or arithmetic progression is about. You have to know that in arithmetic progression or series, the next term is obtained by adding a certain fixed number or a certain fixed item called the what the common difference the what to the previous one. Yes, right. Now, let's move on to the next, next type of series called the, what, the geometric series or the geometric progression. So, whilst uh, the arithmetic series, we add a certain number called the common ratio to the next, uh, to the previous term to obtain the next term. In geometric series or geometric progression, it's quite the opposite, right? So how do we go about the geometric progression? So in the geometric progression, the next term is obtained by multiplying the previous term by a certain number, which is also fixed, called the what's the common ratio. So whilst we use the common difference in the AP or the arithmetic progression, the GP or the geometric Progression, we use what we call the what the common ratio and to obtain the next term of a GP. And to obtain the next term of a GP, we what we multiply the common ratio by the what by the previous term. So that's what the geometric series is about. Let's look at an example. So suppose we have a geometric series in the form u1 plus u2 plus u3. If we want to get the common ratio, R is just the previous, sorry, the, the, the current term divided by the previous term. So you're going to have U2 over what? U1, which is the same as what? U3 over what? U2. Okay. Let's look at typical examples. Let's consider this example. When we have one, plus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 4, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 5, 1, 2. This is what? A geometric progression. And you can pause the video and try. So to know that it's a, a geometric progression, we find a common ratio. If they are having the same common ratio, if you pick like uh, the first, three or four terms and you test, you, you find out that they are having the same common ratio, then you can conclude that it's, it's a GP. So now let's see the common ratio here. Let's use the first and the second term. Okay, so let's say this is U1, U2, U3, and U4. So the common ratio is what? U2 over what? U1. And here the U2 is what? Half. So half divided by one is still what? Half. All right. Let's try another term. So let's use U3 and U2. So the, the current one, which is the U3, divided by the previous one, which is what? The U2. It's going to give us 1 over 4 divided by what? 1 over 2. 
which is towards half. So when you do the same for the other um, terms in the series, you are going to achieve the same what common ratio, the same number. That's what you call the what the common ratio. So basically, in the GP, the next term is just obtained by multiplying uh, the common ratio to the what to the previous term. And in the arithmetic progression, we just add the common difference to the previous term to obtain the next term. So that is that for the introduction to the series and the sequence. In the pre uh, in the next videos that we are going to be doing, we will take the arithmetic progression and the geometric progression, then we look at how we do the actual calculations and how we go about certain things over there. This is just the introduction. See you next time.